here I am in the classroom, pretty wet. Um, I'm gonna start right here with this back counter. Uh, I don't mind art and stuff being not perfect. Um, it's fine by me. These are actually our eye models. And uh, first they've written everything they know and then I'll be introducing academic vocabulary like cornea, retina, etc. They did do a hyperdoc where they sorted the parts of the eye on an image. Um, and so as they learn the academic language for these processes for the eyes, then they'll start adding post-its. And uh, this is their, their mental models that will change. This space right here is kind of like, I feel, it, I, I like it to be nice and clean because I usually like all this open so that um, kids can come in and their kids kind of tight can see what looks, what's going on inside. So I'm going to start with these. I had these turned sideways so that we could see what was in them, but I'm thinking I'm gonna change it to this way and write these labels. So right now I'm going to do these labels. Waboom. I'm gonna put away some art stuff. Um, write lesson plans for them to use uh, sentence frames and academic language to discuss those things. And so like, as I'm thinking about these things, I'll go to my whiteboard and I'll write myself a to-do list. And it's more like instead of a to-do list, it's more like a wish list. Like if, if everything was perfect, this is what I would get done. But I don't have any like anxiety or worries about not having it done. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of work back here. And then I'm gonna straighten up my little desk area right near. You can see, you just kinda got like just planning junk, just littering the whole area. And then this area needs to be really nice and organized. This is going to be our writing. Here's the writing process. They're going to be representatives of each step along the sides. And then as students move, this is actually just a, a 10, like a sheet that I put fabric over and hot glued. And I'll be using little magnets like... These ones, no, not those ones, these ones, I number my students. And so each of these has a little number on it. And then that way they'll be able to uh, record for themselves where they are in their process. Um, and I said I got to straighten these up. I got these. Um, I was thinking about doing uh, borders. At the same time, I know that's something that a student who's done with their task would really enjoy doing. Over here is our multiplication stuff. i got to make sure that I have enough stuff in here for this. And then here's the glorious math station and all of its mess. I'm going to get this nice and organized. I actually think I'm going to have a sign-in, sign-out. I'm going to get a clipboard and put it here, and then it'll be like a label. Oh, I can't because these aren't in their own individuals. Hmm, I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll put them in baggies. And I'll be like, baggy one, baggy two. And then that way I know who has what. Then again, maybe not. Who knows? We just finished up. These are all the Cinderella stories that we read. Um, I got to get their quotes to put around there. This is the original poster that was our writing process. And you can see that it's formalized in this beautiful thing that I got. The other thing I want to do is look at these lights. I actually want to put fabric in front of them, but I'm not sure how. I do have a ladder. That's how I got those up there. And then over here, I'm going to have some learning objectives I've got to change up. And yeah, that's, that's it. I'm usually pretty cautious to make sure no one's name is visual when I'm walking around. So yeah, oh, and then this mess right here. I need to get this pretty and organized. Um, I don't know if I'll take these off and spray paint them, but I'm thinking about it. Then I'd have to unscrew them, and I don't know if I want to do that. So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, quick shout out to the lettered classroom again. I know I've kind of been like just eating her YouTube channel, just devouring her videos. I was doing this Mrs. Rogers versus the students, but I didn't know what they would win. And she suggested either 10 minutes of silence if the teacher wins. Glorious. I might have little tasks for them to do. Or um, 10 minutes of talking time. 
So yeah, and then over here I've got my other mess when I was teaching. This is still going to be the manipulatives I'm going to leave out for teaching um, double digit multiplication. And then this mess needs to get managed. I need like a little station right here. Um, I'm thinking about buying a color printer for the classroom, so that would actually move down there. But I'm not sure, and I don't know if I'm supposed to, so maybe I shouldn't say that I will. I won't. I won't. No, actually, I probably won't because I don't really move anything electronics without um, people knowing. And, like, then I have this space right here that's just, like, blah, and then more just blah. So that's kind of like, this is like my little secret hiding spot. And I've been talking for six minutes because I think I'm avoiding actually doing work. All right. I'm going to get to it for realsies this time. Y'all take care, and I will check in with you in a bit. Um, like I said, I'm going to start right here. All right.